morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope everybody's having a great week for you guys. This will be for Thursday. The NBA free agency is upon us. In the last video, I went and ended the video with us entering either the free agency or staying with the Milwaukee Bucks. And just like last year, we're going to go into free agency. And as you tell, to the right of me, we have a a wheel of NBA teams. We're going to be going into free agency, and whoever we uh, get last is going to be the team that we end up going to, because uh, we can go and easily spend one time and then just get right into it. I want to kind of like uh, see where we go and talk about or what teams get eliminated. Talk about if I like the opportunity of if I would have liked the opportunity to go to that team, and then. Whoever we end up getting to the last team, we will end up being on that team. I went ahead and got rid of the Milwaukee Bucks and the Toronto Raptors for the fact that this year we have already been on the Bucks and the Raptors. A lot more success on the Bucks than the Raptors. To a degree, the free throws for the Bucks was absolutely atrocious comparatively to the Raptors, but their per the defense of the Bucks is a lot better than the Raptors. I also got rid of the Minnesota Timberwolves because they already have Carl Anthony Towns and Rudy Gobert. I went and got rid of the Cleveland Cavaliers because the fact that they already have Evan Mobley and Jared Allen. So I didn't want to break up those two front courts to have one of the better front court players be out, come off the bench. I'd rather I go and have them continue to play their style of basketball and go to another team instead. With all that being said, let's just go ahead and get right into eliminating some teams starting with the Sacramento Kings we're going to remove them go right over here boom and they get rid of it off the wheel and again once we get down to one team that last team we will end up being on for this upcoming season we got rid of the Pelicans Zion Williamson Valanciunas for the front court I'm okay with it I would like the opportunity to maybe have Zion go to the three Valanciunas go to the four because he is able to stretch the four comparatively to us and then have me at the five would have been pretty phenomenal. That's okay though. We're getting rid of the Chicago Bulls. Zach Levine, DeMar DeRozan, Lonzo Ball, uh, Dazanmu, and uh, Patrick Williams would have been pretty fun. But, and then we would have had that room protection and then have maybe Vucevic Go to the four, but I am a okay with not going to the Bulls. I'm okay with it. Would have liked the opportunity to play with Zach Levine, but Oklahoma City Thunder. They already had Chet Holmgren, but I liked the opportunity to play with Shai Gilgeous Alexander and Chet Holmgren. Maybe side Holmgren to the four. Have us as the rim protection at the five. Would have been pretty fun, but I'm okay with this. Okay, I'm okay with it. Gear the Magic. Okay. Uh, they, already, they already have a deep uh, front court with Jonathan Isaac, ba uh, Paula Bancaro, Winter Carter Jr., and uh, Mo Bamba. I'm okay with not going to the Magic. Again, the comparison of like the Timberwolves and uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers compared to a Magic, like what I was just talking about, talking about when it comes to the rotation, that all those players on the Magic aren't 80 plus overalls. They are, I think, or 85 plus overalls. I think uh, Wendell Carter Jr. is the highest at like 82 or something like that. And so I'm okay with going to the Magic comparatively to Rudy Gobert, who's defensive player of the year three years in a row. Not this past year because Marcus Smart won it. But anyways, Detroit Pistons, I'm okay with it because they already have Isaiah Stewart. Maybe have him come off the bench. I'd rather go and just go to a team that probably could use the room, room protection more so. That being the Memphis Grizzlies. I would love the opportunity to play with John Morant once again with Desmond Bain, um, Triple J. I, I, 2K22 was an amazing game for the channel, and you guys absolutely loved playing John Morant. It was fun. Who are we going to? Who are we going to be on? Getting rid of the Miami Heat. We'd like the opportunity to have uh, 
Uh, Bam Adebayo at the four would have been awesome. But that is A-OK. -okay. And then Jimmy Butler, Kyle Lowry, Duncan Robinson, Tyler Hero. Been fun. Getting rid of the Hawks with Clint, uh, not Clint Capella because he's on the uh, Clippers now. But John Collins, Trey Young, DeAndre Hunter would have been fun. It would have been fun to play with uh, Young because he's a good facilitating point guard. Underrated uh, facilitating point guard. Ooh, San Antonio Spurs get rid of them. Sohan, of course, you got uh, Greg Popovich as the coach. Um, Caleb Colin Johnson, Joshua Primo have been pretty fun, but I'm okay with not going to them. Boston Celtics, we already they already have Grant uh, Robert Williams as the rim protecting five, so I'm okay with not going to. The Celtics, you know, I would like to play with uh, Tatum and Brown and McFawn. Get rid of the Portland Trail Blazers. Okay, I'm okay with this. They already have Nurkic, but we could have thrown myself or Nurkic at the four or five. Play with Lillard would have been fun. Simons would have been fun. And then, of course, Jeremy Grant, of course, too. Have him at the three would have been cool. But I'm okay with not going to them. Get rid of the Philadelphia 76ers. Joel Embiid. Uh, James Harden, Matisse Thibel. I would probably slid myself. Again, depending on the matchups, I would have had maybe uh, Joel Embiid at the four, myself at the five. Sometimes I'm out myself at the four. Joel Embiid at the five. Just depends on the matchups, but I'm okay with not going to 76ers. I'm okay with it. Getting rid of the Charlotte Hornets with the low ball would have been fun. They've actually had a legitimate big that is able to rim protect for them would have been phenomenal for them but again we're okay with this again i would have liked the opportunity to play with him but not going to be overly saddened about it Ooh, that's like on the line of the jazz but that is a-okay deandre aiden at the four have been fun with chris paul deandre uh not deandre devin booker would have been fun but not gonna cry over it Four Dallas Mavericks. Don't know what that's about. Anyways. Uh, Brooklyn Nets. We're in protection for Kevin Durant. Who knows if Kyrie's going to be on the team because it's, we're about to enter free agency. I want to say he was only a, uh, under contract for the Brooklyn Nets for this up for the year that we played through and he's a free agent. So who knows if he's going to come back to the Nets or not. So I'm okay with not going to the Nets. Would have been fun to play with Kevin Durant, but I'm okay with it. Get rid of my Indiana Pacers. Shoot, one of the teams I would love the opportunity to go to. Tyrese Halburn, Benedict Matherin, Chris Duarte, Jalen Smith. We might have got rid of Miles Turner. I have him come off the bench with that rim protection with TJ McConnell. It would have been fun, but I'm not going to cry over it. Houston Rockets. I'm okay with this. Jalen Green and Jabari Smith are two great uh, young studs with Sanguan, Sangoon. I'm okay with not going to them either. They're a rebuilding team. I'd have a little more consistency. Getting rid of the New York Knicks. I'm okay with this. They already have Mitchell Robinson as a rim protector, so I'm not going to cry over not going to the Knicks. Next up, who are we getting rid of? Washington Wizards. Been nice to have uh, Chris Epps Brazingas at the four and myself at the five. And again, depending on the matchups, you might have him at the five and myself at the four. But I'm not going to cry over it. Bradley Beal been fun, but rather go to a, again, a team that's going to be a little more consistent. Get rid of the Jazz. Speaking of uh, consistency, the Utah Jazz are going to be a rebuilding team. Outside of J uh, Jordan Clarks, and they have Mike Conley. I like the Azabuki kid, but overall, I'm glad that we didn't go to the Utah Jazz. I'm okay with this. I'm not even okay. I'm good with this. Get into the Clippers. Been nice to have uh, Ship Owens at the four, Kawhi at the three, Paul George at the two, John Wall at the one, and then us at the five, but I'm not 
going to cry over it because I like to beat Jeff Owens more often than I should be on his team. So I'm okay with this. Get rid of the Mavericks. Okay. Luka Doncic, Christian Wood, JaVale McGee, Dorian Finney-Smith, Spencer Dinwiddie. I'm okay with not going there because of the fact that... Uh, I'm allowed to get rid of that four. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not able to. Um, I'm okay with it because of the fact, simple fact that uh, Christian Wood and JaVale McGee, like what I said, they already have a, a decent backcourt or front court, but to have that guaranteed rim protection for Luka Doncic would be phenomenal. But I'm okay with this. I'm okay with it. Getting rid of the Lakers. Okay, Anthony Davis at the four, LeBron James at the uh, at the one. I would probably went and talk to the GM about getting some elite three point shooters, and we've been phenomenal. But I'm not again not going to be saddened over not going to the Lakers. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. We are about to find out which team we are about to go to. It's either the Golden State Warriors with Steph Curry. Clay Thompson, Andrew Wiggins, Kaminga. Uh, they already have Kevin Looney and James Wiseman for their front court center or the center position. They had Draymond Green at the four. I'd be oh, I'd be not even good. I'd be extremely happy to go to the Golden State Warriors. But again, I'm not going to be sad over not going to Golden State Warriors because I like being in the Golden State Warriors than being on the team. I don't. I'm I'm good being a uh, a snake and uh, going to the Golden State Warriors would be ridiculous for that rim protection that they've been desperately needing. But I would love to go to the Denver Nuggets because then you can slide Nikola Jokic to the four or myself at the four depending on the matchups. I'm and then you got uh, uh, Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr., KCP. It'd be fun to be on the goal, uh, Denver Nuggets because it'd be fun to play with Nikola Jokic. The reigning MVP for the uh, last year on that we just played. So, either way, I, I am a-okay with going to either team. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen. Close. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. Let me get rid of the display capture real quick so that way we're not making ourselves get sick. Boom. We are entering free agency. We are entering free agency. And we're going to the Golden State Warriors. After we uh, not have such a delay. Hold on a second, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go and do a little bit of maneuvering to get it to work properly. Beautiful. Should look a little bit crisper. Hide, we're going to enter free agency. Offseason moves. Okay, here we go. Dallas Mavericks, Portland to Portland. Kyrie went to San Antonio. Jordan Poole went, stayed in uh, Golden State. Andrew Williams went to the Jazz. Christian, went, Christian Wood went to the Sacramento Kings. Miles Turner ended up going to Dallas. I'm not surprised. Miami to Miami. Washington to Brooklyn. Kristaps Porzingis. That's some pretty good rim protection. It's not amazing for the Brooklyn Nets. Cam Johnson to Phoenix to Detroit. So nothing too crazy other than Kyrie went to San Antonio. Wow. Okay. And 
is open now. And we already know what team we're going to. Okay, so they having us as a rotation player because of the simple fact that uh, we are going to a different team. We're guaranteed 1,000 uh, VC per game with 38 minutes a game with the Milwaukee Bucks because we won a championship. We were on their team. Guaranteed that. And again, I'm not concerned about any of that. And so it looks like everybody's going to have us as a rotational player no matter what. I feel dirty. Let me guess, let me start by saying that the Warriors are very interested in getting Kyle Franey, getting into Kyle Franey business. We love seeing what you seeing you out of you, Kyle. Four hundred dollars per game. One point four bonus. Ten minutes a game. One year. Hmm. Not gonna argue that eventually we'll we'll uh, work on the minutes and stuff, in which I talked about that after we get this uh, set up. I'm okay with it, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we're on. We're no longer on the Bucks. We are on. Wait. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen. We are on the Golden State Warriors as a 94 overall center with Steph Curry, Jordan Poole, Kaminga, Clay Thompson, James Wiseman, Moses Moody. Also, you know, you probably had to get rid of, uh, you probably had to get rid of, uh, did you end up getting Ibaka? Trey Young. Or not Trey Young, but Thaddeus Young. Okay. They we keep their young players, so that's huge. Um, nope. They have Kaminga at the four. It might have to switch up the lineups. And switch up their position if I'm able to. I don't think I'm able to, unfortunately. But we're on the Golden State Warriors. Injuries. Um, that was like a legitimate person, which is weird. Darius Moncrief. Max Chrissy. Okay. I think that should be it. My minutes, 24 minutes, I'm already starting off. I, oh, you're actually able to just start off with the bang of getting the minutes and starting. Which I'm not going to argue with. Wow, they have Clay Thompson as an 80 overall, and they have Jordan Poole. Uh, I'm going to actually just do this right here. Uh, 12 minutes. Wow, they're going to have Clay Thompson coming off the bench. That's crazy. Jordan Poole at starting. He's an 85 overall. Clay Thompson has an only an 80 overall, which is crazy. Um, uh, we'll probably give these young, young, young kids some minutes. Um, I'm gonna get rid of pretty much getting rid of all these extra minutes, so I can get myself some minutes. Beautiful. Three more minutes. That looks good. I'm cool with this. Steph Curry and I. With Jordan Poole, Moses Moody, Kaminga, Clay Thompson. We might, again, depending on who we're going against, we might throw uh, Wiseman at the, at the four and then us at the five. An example against the, uh, or this way against the uh, Kings. Let's look at their roster real quick. Um, Kings. They have who do they have at the four? Pat Rogers at six nine. So having uh, coming at the four, I'm cool with against against 
or an example against the Kings, I'm cool with Kaminga at the four. Um, going against the Lakers might be a different story. Let me look at that real quick. Uh, Lakers, they got Alfred Wesley and Carmelo. So I might, since they're the same overall, I probably would throw Wiseman at the four. And so that way you have some better rim protection or some better vers versatility at, as uh, Wiseman's at the, at the four. Might keep uh, uh, Kaminga at the four. Just again, depending on the matchup. If I feel like he's going to get bullied a lot at the four, might slide him to the uh, to the bench and then have Kaminga at the four. But this is going to be a very interesting season, guys. Can't believe we won a championship and now we're on the Golden State Warriors. <laughs> With all this being said, guys, in this video right here, and I'll talk to you guys later.